What's up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of That Savage Kitchen. As you saw from the thumbnail, today we are going to be making some fish and chips or fish and french fries, depending on what country you're from or how you say it. But this is a classic UK dish. It's very delicious and very simple. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make crispy fish and crispy french fries with a homemade tartar sauce. Trust me, bro. When I tell you, when I tell you, this recipe gonna be straight fire. I'm not capping. I've never capped on any of my recipes because they are straight fire. So if y'all ready for that, make sure y'all leave a like, comment down below. But other than that, let's get started. Yeah. First, we're gonna start off with the fish. I recommend using a white fish. Today, I'm gonna to be using cod, or you can use haddock or pollock. First thing I'm gonna to do to these fish are salt them because what I'm trying to do is pull out all that moisture because we want these fish to be as dry as possible. So we're gonna dab with a paper towel and then I'm gonna put it in my fridge. While that's in the fridge waiting to be used, I'm gonna start off on making a self-rising flour for our batter. So I took one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. And then I took my mixture and put it into a sifter so I can incorporate some more air into it, but this is optional. And then we're gonna add one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're gonna work on the coating mixture for our fish. So I took half a cup of some flour and I took two tablespoons of cornstarch. Then I seasoned with one teaspoon of onion powder, pepper, paprika, salt, and garlic powder. You're gonna need a good beer for your beer batter. So I got me a Coors Banquet beer, it's cheap, and it's a good beer for beer battered recipes. Nice. I don't know about y'all, but opening a can of any carbonated drink is so satisfying, but we're gonna add a little beer at a time. There's no proper measurement for this, but we're looking for a mixture that's just a little bit thinner than pancakes. But once you got your consistency, we're gonna put it in the fridge until further use. Now, you can't have fish and chips without the chips, AKA potatoes. <laughs> So we're gonna skin our potatoes just like this. And then I roughly chopped up my potatoes. You can have them thick or thin, but I prefer the thick ones. Now place your potatoes in cold water to prevent them from turning brown. When you're ready to use your fries, you're gonna take them out and we're gonna dry them. Just like how your parents used to do to you when you're a little baby after you got out the bath. Now get you a hot oil of grease at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius. We are gonna double fry these to achieve max crispiness. So the goal for the first wave is to fry them till they are soft in the middle, just like this. After that, we're gonna dump these things back into our grease until they are brown like that. Now, badly season your fries like I did here, and I'm gonna put them in my oven at 300 degrees until my fish is ready. Now we're gonna pull out that fish because we are ready to fry. I cut them in half because I wanted smaller pieces. You obviously don't have to do this, but we are gonna get our mixture ready. So first, you're gonna take your fish, mix it in that dry flour like this, and make sure you coat it well because we are not trying to have no balls spots now we're gonna dump it into our batter and we are trying to drown this fish which is impossible because they live underwater but we are going to submerge this thing until it is fully coated like this now we're gonna bring this fish over to the black sea of grease at a temperature of 350 degrees fahrenheit or 177 degrees celsius and we're gonna cook these fish until they have a nice golden brown exterior which should take around five minutes but in the meantime i'm gonna teach you how to make a homemade delicious tartar sauce so I started off by taking one baby dill pickle and finely mincing that up. And then we're gonna take one third cup of mayonnaise and add that to our bowl. Season with salt, dill, cayenne pepper, and garlic pepper. Add one teaspoon of lemon juice and Worcestershire sauce. Then your minced up pickles and give that a good mix until it looks something like this. Now, back to the fish. Your fish should be done now. After the five minutes, we're gonna pull it out and look how crispy that exterior looks. Put that on a wire rack like this so it has good airflow. And yes, I'm just pulling them off with my hands straight out the fryer because your boy is built different. Serve immediately, but hear this crispiness. Now, the only thing left to do is serve immediately. Take them fries out the oven, add your fish to the plate, and there we go. Look at that presentation. Y'all hear how crispy that snap sound, but hear this. Man, I know y'all heard that crispiness. I am not playing. Dump it in that delicious tartar sauce, and that is how you make some fish and chips. 